After watching this video, you should have a fundamental understanding of the bond cutting method and how it can be used to determine the oxidation numbers of elements within a molecular substance. This is useful for determining the site of oxidation and reduction in chemical reactions when you know the structure of the molecules involved. So here I have shown a reaction that occurs in plankton and is a biogenic source of dimethyl sulfide in our environment. And I want to use this biologically relevant reaction to illustrate how to calculate the oxidation numbers of atoms when you know the structure using what I refer to as the bond cutting method. So let's focus here first on sulfur and determine whether or not sulfur is oxidized or reduced in this process. I'm going to start over here in DMSP on the sulfur here. And remember in the bond cutting method, essentially what we do is we treat the compound, the molecular substance, like it is ionic. And we need to know the electronegativities of the atoms involved. Turns out that sulfur's electronegativity is 2.5, which happens to be the same electronegativity for carbon. So under this method, we typically assign bonded electrons to the more electronegative atom. But in this case, because sulfur and carbon have the same electronegativity, we're going to divide the bonded electrons equally to calculate the oxidation number. So let me go ahead and do this, illustrate this thinking for sulfur. So I'm going to take these bonded electrons and divide them equally with the bond cutting method between sulfur and carbon. Now I'm going to take the original valence electron count for sulfur, which is 6, minus the number of electrons it has after this bond cutting approach, which would be 2, the lone pairs, plus 1, 1, 1, so 2 plus, plus 1 is 3, 4, 5, so 6 minus 5 means I will have a plus 1 oxidation state on sulfur here, which should make sense. And now I'm going to go over to the product side and do the same thing. I'm going to cut the bonds here and say sulfur now is 6 minus 2, 4, 5, 6, or a zero oxidation state in DMS. So I can see that sulfur is reduced in this process. The oxidation number goes from plus 1 to 0, which means that something must be oxidized. And we're going to focus here on the carbons of DMSP. I want to focus on these two carbons here, and I'm going to calculate the oxidation numbers using the bond cutting methods for these two carbons. And remember that carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen. Hydrogen has an electronegativity of 2.1. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw these bonds. I'm going to cross those hydrogens out and just draw them bonded to the carbon here. And now I'm going to use the bond cutting method to calculate the oxidation number of this carbon. So both of the electrons in the carbon-hydrogen bond will be formally assigned to the carbon in this method. This bond gets equally cut again because sulfur and carbon have the same electronegativity, as does this bond, which is a carbon-carbon bond. So if I calculate the oxidation number of this carbon, I'm going to say it's 4, the valence electron count of carbon atom, minus 2, 4, 5, 6, 6, or a minus 2. Now I'm going to go over to the product side and track this carbon, which would be associated with this carbon here, it's the same carbon, and calculate the oxidation number of this carbon using the bond cutting method. I'm going to draw the hydrogens again, and I'm now going to cut, and I will see that I will take these electrons, formally assign them to the carbon. These will be cut equally because it's a carbon-carbon bond. So now what I'm going to get here on this side is I'm going to get 4 minus 2, 4, 5, 6, or a minus 2 for the carbon here. So I can say that that carbon formally is not oxidized or reduced. Now let's look at this carbon here. Um, this carbon, I'm going to use the bond cutting method again. I'll switch to a blue color here. So I, ha I can see that I have a carbon-carbon bond, a carbon-carbon bond, two carbon-hydrogen bonds. I know that those four electrons from those two bonds would be formally assigned to the carbon. So that's four, five, six. So this carbon here would be a four minus six or a minus two oxidation state. Now let's go over here. Here's the carbon after the reaction. I'm going to do the bond cut again. These electrons in this double bond will be distributed equally. The, the two electrons from the one carbon hydrogen bond, and I'll kind of draw this, will be cut and assigned to that carbon. And then these electrons from the carbon-carbon bond will be assigned to that carbon uh, equally. One electron will. So now this carbon here will be 4 minus 
2, 3, 4, 5, or a minus 1. So that carbon formally went from a minus 2 to a minus 1. Therefore, carbon in this case is oxidized formally and sulfur is reduced. And we can see that the bond cutting method allows us, knowing the structure, to sort of pinpoint the site of oxidation and reduction. The bond cutting method for oxidation number determination.